So let me focus instead for just a moment on some of the items that are on the city's official agenda. Soon the council will consider the recommendations from the Immigrant Integration Task Force. These will provide for us an action plan to maximize the economic and civic contributions of newcomers to Charlotte and improve the feeling of being a part of the Charlotte experience for those who were not born here. Soon too, City Council will have before it a decision on the extension of our public accommodations and anti-discrimination ordinance to include gender and sexual orientation. And already, last night, City Council took the important step of declaring in unmistakable terms this city's commitment to strengthening accountability and transparency of police procedures relating to the use of force and the collection and use of intelligence information. Important work awaits us in 2015 to ensure that that commitment is fully implemented. All of these things that I've mentioned will be part of efforts to strengthen public trust, build community linkages among the diverse groups, and provide support for those in the community who are at greatest risk. Despite the diligent work and the solid ideas that have been developed thus far by the Transit Funding Working Group, we have not yet broken the code on how we will be able to finance the remainder of the 2030 transit plan in light of the apparent withdrawal of state support and potential limitations on future federal funding. There are other items that will give us opportunities to call upon the spirit of enterprise and reinvention that I have discussed with you. These will include such matters as the Council's ongoing consideration of the amateur sports complex proposal for the area around Bojangles Arena, the development of a new concept for the redeployment of the former Eastland Mall property, the unveiling of a plan for the development of the Gateway Station on West Trade Street. The City will continue in 2015 work on the necessary infrastructure to support the Applied Innovation Corridor in the North Tryon, Graham, and Statesville Road Quadrant. And perhaps even we could initiate a similar effort <coughs> to help define a new future for the area immediately west of the Center City around Freedom Drive, West Boulevard, and Wilkinson Boulevard. 